this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to use the new Woodford die from the John Nextdoor collection to make this beautiful card with the embossed background. There's lots of sections in this die. You get the main piece. But in this video, I want to concentrate on how we use these nesting dies and how we use the extra strips. So we're going to make a card like this one. Really simple, but really effective. And I think this would make a fantastic men's card. And again, you can have it in either direction. And it just looks so luxurious and rich. So I'm going to start by cutting the panel. So I've got a piece of card here and I've cut this down to one and three quarter inches by just under seven inches in length. So this is six and seven eighths. And I'm going to use the two strip dies that you get. So the first thing I need to do is just tape these two ties together so that they're working in one piece. So I'm just going to tape them across like that and make sure I match the pattern up. And then I'm going to go right to the end of here. Tape that down and we'll run that through our die cutting machine. And if we run that through, we get this piece here with these cut. The great thing about using dies is we can slot them back in. So what I'm now going to do is to just slot the last three pieces back in. So just make sure they match exactly. We put it in, we tape that down and we cut that. And what we will get when we cut that is we will get a complete repeat pattern. And it's very hard to see where we actually matched it across. So it works and you could do this across to the right, to the left, up and down, make a strip as large as you want to. So all I need to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of spray glue onto this. And I'm going to add it to a piece of this champagne card that I've got that's been cut to two inches wide by seven inches. So that I've got that beautiful strip there. So what I need to do next is to make the buckle. So I'm going to use the pieces in the die and I'm going to use a piece of the black and again of the cream. So I'm going to take the second die down in the set. And this is onto the cream. And I want to use the smallest of the two octagons in the set. I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to use a long piece of tape, pick that up, get that nicely centered. And we'll cut that. I'm then going to take the next die down in the set and the largest of the octagons. And again, I'm going to tape these together to cut these. And you can use these in any combination. Every time I make this, I use a slightly different combination. Let's just get that nice and even. So we cut those down and we run those through and we cut those two pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those. And while that's doing it, I will show you the piece that I've already got cut. So we're running those through. What I've done here is use two separate ones, but as you can see, that way I get the larger frame, which is smaller, but the larger in the middle and the larger and the smaller, which gives me this perfect sort of buckle piece. If I take the pieces I've just cut, you can see here I've used two different sets of dies. So we'll take these pieces out. So this time I've got a tighter buckle piece and a slightly smaller piece here. And we'll move those out of the way. And you can see here, again, we've got a slightly different piece. So I could again offset that on top I could rotate that round or I could use that for another card. I'm going to use this one that I've already got cut and I've just foam mounted the black onto it. So all I then need to do is add a little bit of foam tape at the top and a little bit of foam tape at the bottom. And laying this out evenly is really quite simple. I bring in the strip that I've cut and I simply remove the adhesive and then I just want to count in so I'm going to the center and I just want to make sure it's even so I've got one two three on this side one two three on this side and I can see in there I've got that beautiful pattern running through the middle 
So I simply now need a piece to put this on. So I'm going to use the press cut 3D embossing folder. And this one is the quilted blocks. And I want to cut a piece that's a little bit longer. So this is five by seven. So I have already embossed that section. But as this is a repeatable pattern, all I need to do is to slot this along until it clicks in and you'll feel it click into place. Close the folder and we'll emboss that. So I'm just going to simply run this one through to emboss that pattern on an extension. And you'll see how this really works in extending the die. So here I've got a card blank that I've made up already. And this is just a simple, I think this is five and a half by seven and a half. So I've got that layer there. I'm going to take the embossed piece. And if you can see by hanging that outside, I've continued that pattern on and it's very hard to see that it's continued. And you can see that fits exactly in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape again onto this, just to give me some depth and dimension. And this folder is brilliant because it works on both ways. So the emboss and the deboss have both got beautiful patterns to them. So you can use either side. So you're not having to check to make sure your card's going in the right way because you can use any side you want. So I'm just going to remove the foam tape from here. I'm going to slot that on so it just fits on there. And I've done the same with this strip that I've made. And again, I'm just going to fit that nicely in the centre using the pattern to give me the right layout lines. So there is our basic card. I could then add some pearls, some gems, some crystals, whatever I want to, just to make that stand out a little bit more. So I can take some stick on pearls and put those into the middle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into those two center points. I'm then going to use smaller ones to put on and decorate into the center of these little star shapes. So I would continue to do that. I can do the same with the embossing folder until I've got all the pattern built up. So I just missed that one. So we'll pop another one in there. There we go. And one more that hasn't stuck. There we go, because I'm doing this in a little bit of a rush. But you can see how you can really decorate, add bits in the centre of there, or really go for it. So we've got two cards. Using that pattern, using that trick, and it just shows how extending a die and extending a folder can really extend your stash. Enjoy.